Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. We're not going upstairs into the courtrooms. Yes, we're allowed to document the we're free pests. We're allowed to document the building. We're not going upstairs. This clip is brought to us by Crooked Cop Media. Be sure to go to the link in the description to find their channel. Also, make sure you show them some support by subscribing to them. The clip starts off with a man and his friend filming in publicly accessible areas within a courthouse. After telling the two men to leave, a public worker puts their hands on the man's friend. The sheriff's deputies originally thought the two men couldn't film, and they referred to a court order sign. They eventually ended up getting educated. A lieutenant even said they were all clear to film beforehand. Watch the full clip next. Down at 420 West State Courthouse. Touch him, sir. Don't do not touch. You just put your hands on me. Yes, Bob. You're a crazy guy. No, 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 no. Don't touch him. It's not an ordinance. That is a that is a court order. No, you you read the instructions on the door when you come in the when you come in the door. Calm down. Hey, how are you guys doing? That guy right there, over there, he keeps trying to attack my friend. Get these guys out of here. They can't film in here. Yes, we can. The, 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 the Lieutenant Joe uh, gave us the clearance. That we're not going upstairs and in the courtrooms or nothing. What lieutenant gave us? Lieutenant Joe, to uh, Bloritz or something like that. And he's, a, he's the supervisor. He's the lieutenant for the sheriff's department. He gave us clearance. You can call him up, the supervisor. He said we're good to go as long as we don't go upstairs. We're not going upstairs into the courtrooms. Yes, we're allowed to document the we're free pests. We're allowed to document the building. We're not going upstairs. I don't know what the lieutenant talking about. I'm yeah. sure he didn't tell you that. Yes, we were just down there at the CJC. What's the purpose of this? We're doc we're free press. Document we're what? free press. Document we're we're taking video of the building. We're what? free press. What do you mean for what? Yeah. I don't have to tell you that. Well, no, no. You ask me a question, I'll ask you a question. Yeah, I, okay, well, ask me a question. It actually matters. I'll ask you a question. Why are you documenting? What, for what purpose? I told you for myself, for free press. That's what the purpose is. What kind of press? Free press. You're a free press? Yes. I'm a journalist. You're a journalist? Any credentials? I don't need to have a credential. There's no such thing. So we just create our own stuff. Okay, that's fine. That guy just put hands on him. What? That other guy just put hands on the, on him for no reason. He can't put hands on him just because he has a camera. Why did they let us in here then? You can come in. We, had, we were already recording. Can you call Lieutenant Joe? Can you call your supervisor? The, the okay. lieutenant. Okay. He, we're not going upstairs. We're not going into the courthouse. Thank you. No, it's not the deputy chief. He's the lieutenant. Down at the CJC, he runs the complaint department. He said that we were good to go. He said he was going to call ahead and said that as long as we don't go upstairs, we're good to go. We're not going in any courtroom areas. He said, we are good to go. And he put hand, that Ed or Bob or whatever he said his name is. We're not, we're not filming anybody's personal information. 720 ILCS 523-1, 521-3 actually states that you can't trespass me from a public building during business hours if I haven't committed a crime. It's not a crime. We're not in a courtroom or in the courtroom facilities. We are somewhere open to the public. Yeah, that's what. You, uh, as far as we are, you guys are deputies of, under the sheriff's department. Yeah? So you want to go arrest that guy for assault and battery? We have it on video. At least detain him for now, so he doesn't yeah. run away. At least detain him. He's not going anywhere. He runs here. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a right to put his hands on people. No, he does. Exactly. You know what the free press is? Oh no, they're trying, they're trying to tell us that this is a law and that's the journal order. That's not a, that's not an actual statute. And if you actually look up journal order 109, it says that they're not allowed to record us on their personal devices. It doesn't say that we're not allowed to record them 
and we're not in the courtroom facilities as well either. Exactly, and that's what that says right there. It even says it right here as well. It, so I want to file a police report on this gentleman. Can you call the police and tell them I want to come here for that? I don't know, but maybe they're taking forever. For I mean, we could... Call. We well, can call 911. I mean, it would be a lot easier if you just get the guy out here quicker. You guys, you do have arresting powers, right? Okay, uh, can we file? I want to file an assault and better case on behalf of him. What is this worker thinking, trying to lay hands on one of the men recording? The other man does the right thing and informs one of the sheriffs about the incident. The men even mentioned to the sheriffs that they got clearance to record anywhere but upstairs and they said they weren't going upstairs on top of this. This looks like another case of where the sheriffs don't even seem to listen to what the men are saying and have already made up in their minds whose side they are taking and what they want to happen. Once again, way too many sheriffs for just two men. What law have I committed? If I'm under investigation, investigation of what? What did I do? This is going to go well. Okay. For what? For what? What did I do? This is public property. This clip is brought to us by Majestic Tree 423. Be sure to check out their channel through the link in the description. Make sure you show them some support by subscribing as well. The clip starts off with a father getting trespassed from a school property, even though he hasn't committed any crime. From what I could see, I'm pretty sure that the parking lot is public, so in order to trespass the man, a crime has to be committed. The man evokes all of his amendments out loud. The man also refuses to give them his ID as he knows that he hasn't committed any crimes. Watch the full clip to see the cops then illegally detain the man. Information for a trespass. Sure I do. No, you don't. Then who, who am I trespassing? Me. Okay, what's your name? I'm not telling you my name. I am. Tell me your name. Is that, what, is that the route you want to go? I'm invoking my First Amendment right and my Fifth Amendment right okay. and my Fourth Amendment right. You do not need my name. Sir, here's the thing. Here, let me talk to you. Here's the thing. Like the, the, the trespass you. We can't just say, this dude in the white van is trespass. We have to have a name to say you're trespass. Like when we tell dispatch, hey, this person can't be back on this property. Okay, there was a guy that was trespassed from Walmart. This ain't they, Walmart. They, this they, they, this they, he refused. He sued and won. It's not Walmart. I'm invoking my fifth Walmart's, amendment. For what? Trespassing for what? What did I do? They want you trespass. This is public property. No, no, this no. is school. This is public this is, property. Was I public? It's public. Pro public. My tax dollars pay for every brick that's. Public. They, it's they it's exactly. It's they said it's that it's he isn't allowed back on school property, and they said, "I need your ID and death and no." And then, you know, uh oh, they're running the tag, mom. He's illegally running my tag. Okay. Well, then, if you feel you, you can sue and win. You can do that. Yeah. Okay, so I can leave. That's it. Well, why can't I leave? What, what are you detaining me for? Because we're fixing the trespass. What here. are you detaining me for? Come here. You can't walk off. You can't leave. So okay. I'm being detained right I've now. I've already told you. You're being detained for right what? now. For what? Because we're trespassing you and you, we're not letting for him what? go. <laughs> we're not letting him go until... Do you know this isn't going to go well? You're, you're holding me here for yes. what? For an investigation detention for what? We are trespassing you. I'm not going to say this. You again. don't need, you don't need me here to trespass yes, you. We, you do not need me here to trespass We know who you are. We'll trespass you. Okay. Every, people get trust, simple I'm trespass pretty sure they know who from, my from Walmart every day and, and they don't they show the here. ID. Is. This is isn't criminal is. trespass. That's what what crime Walmart's have I committed? What, they do at Walmart. what crime have I committed? Hey, I'll call Evelyn and have her come get us. You have to, you, I have to commit a crime Abby, for you call Evelyn. to force me to give you my ID. Oh, I have her phone. I have to commit a crime. Not true. Yes, it is true. Here, I'm going to... Not true. Okay. <laughs> it is true. Bye. You're, you're in state. I've studied constitutional law for 20 years. Why are you calling Evelyn? Okay. These, these two morons as soon that as I wouldn't he, trust to, to wash my dog. As soon as he mentioned just, underage girls, he called Literally him just charged me, just called y'all here because I said that y'all have girls violating dress code every day, all day. Please, please, go, look, please go look up Tennessee law and say, when, when am I compelled to get forcefully give you my ID? 
What happened? What, if rap, I, what's the rap? What's I, the reasonable, articulable if, suspicion if, of a crime? If I have suspicion that somebody wants you, you have to articulate it, sir. Articulate it. And you won't listen. So how can you articulate anything when you, you won't listen? You wasn't fair. You how can you articulate a crime that you wasn't fair? I'm coming out here. I'm coming out here. They say, they, here. they say we want him trespassed from the property. We don't want him back. Okay. Okay. Our job, identify you so we can trespass you and let you know what the consequences are if you come back to this property. Okay? I have reasonable... Your, my First Amendment right has no volume left. You are yelling here, man. Preacher... Okay. okay. So listen. the preacher that stood in front of Kingsport Courthouse with a megaphone and shouted in it, he didn't get arrested. We can trespass you from this property. We've already said that. I'm trespassing. Congratulations. Uh, I don't. So I don't want you to tell me anything or, or explain anything. Thank God. We've been trespassed this whole time. Y'all have a good day. Well, this cop needs to be educated. They can't detain someone without reasonable, articulable suspicion, and this is exactly what this cop did to this man. And it didn't even end there. He also tried to trespass the man when he hadn't committed a crime. And as the parking lot was public, the man had to have committed a crime to be trespassed. I feel bad for this father. He's put in a difficult situation with a bunch of cops who think they are right and he can't really do anything otherwise, and they will probably resort to physical force. Hopefully, these officers get consequences for their actions here. Well, you're literally filming right, right now. Yeah, but who chased chased you down with a camera? You came to me. You came to me. I didn't chase you down. Yeah, I asked you why you were on the parking lot filming our. This video is brought to us by Auditing Arkansas. Be sure to check out his channel through the link in the description and make sure you subscribe to his channel. The video begins with the man recording being accompanied by a channel regular here. Justin from the Random Patriot. They are both at the Camden PD. They are then confronted by Sergeant Reynolds because they are filming. More officers come out of the building for the two men as they wait outside. Watch the full clip to see the chief save the day for the two men from the rest of the officers. Hi. Howdy. I'm Sergeant Reynolds, what's going on? Hey Sergeant Reynolds, how are you doing? What are you doing? I'm walking around. Okay, well, you're not coming in the room. Oh, no, no, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't think of it. Wouldn't think of it. What exactly are you doing? You're a law enforcement officer? Yes, sir. How long have you been doing that? Uh, about almost nine years. Mm, okay, so in your opinion, what am I doing? I have absolutely no idea. That's why I ask. Investigative? Well, yeah. Investigative? Same thing. Investigative skills. What would, it, what would you say I would be doing? I have absolutely no idea. That's why I'm asking. Okay. I do not know what you're doing with that. I'm filming. Okay. But there's usually a reason as to why somebody's filming. Like, I film for my own protection. Me too. So, then, why are you needing protection on that fucking line? I just film everywhere I go. We'll, we'll, come, we'll fix to come in and, and, and do some business. Do business as in? I, I, I really don't want to talk to you anymore, if that's okay. Okay, well, right, why thank are you. you here? Okay, how many cops we got? One, two, three. Oh, here comes another one. And that's, I mean, that's completely fine, but at the same time, that's why I'm asking, because that could be anything from somebody's casing, how our cars have been built to try and hurt us later. That could be anything from somebody casing where all the entrances are. You guys are pretty worried about people hurting you? Uh, Is yeah, that paranoid? Really? Yeah. Yeah, but who chased chased you down with a camera? You came to me. You came to me. I didn't chase you down. Yeah, I asked you why you were on the parking lot filming our cars. Hey, yes. hey, Chief. I think we answered you, didn't we? 
No, really. Hey, you finally answered me. He never answered me even once. What's going on? Yeah, I got the one. Okay. Thank you. She's afraid we're here to hurt her, apparently. What are you, can I help you all with something? We're independent journalists. We're working on a story in Camden. We're only intending to film from the public areas. <laughs> we don't want to go anywhere we can't go or do anything we can't do. Okay. All right. Um, You'll have a good day. Okay. You too. What's your name? I'm sorry. Um, Courtney Parker. She's the assistant chief. Yes. Assistant chief, cool. I'm Justin. Right. Nice right. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now we're fixing to go in there and make some FOIA requests and get a complaint, some complaint forms. Oh. To the inside, right. so. Right. I talked to Foster about it. Me and him were cool. Uh, this Sergeant Reynolds is either fed up with her job or is just a bit slow today. She can't even comprehend what they are saying and it eventually ends up with more officers coming outside just for the two men harmlessly recording. And of course, she had to bring out the fact that they could be plotting to eventually hurt them later and that's why she is speaking to them. But luckily among all these officers, there was a good chief that saved the day in the end. If it wasn't for this chief, this would have been a really bad encounter with a lot of complaining to do. Yeah, there's, like, they call me, I was Can I have your name in the restroom? Campos, one, three, yeah, seven, Yeah, they, they feel insecure because he was taking videos yeah. and he's been, he's been doing the several I, I times. I took videos. This video is brought to us by News One. Make sure you guys subscribe to their channel. To find it, go to the link in the description. A big shout out to News One. The video begins with a public parking lot worker along with a security guard trying to tell a man that he can't record. They refer to a sign that has been posted. Later, the cops turn up after being called to the scene. The men end up getting educated about the First Amendment by the cops. The man recording explains the situation to a cop. Watch the full clip to see the sign that the workers referred to. We don't make those rules, so I'm sorry. There's no, not that scene. But he said that he doesn't want to do it. I didn't talk to anybody. I talked okay. to no one. Then why are you taking those videos? Why? Oh, uh, it's because this. I'm yeah, sending. I understand that there's always where you when you're in the park, sir, There's signs where there's no drinking. Yeah. You have to follow. I'm just giving an example. Yeah, like, I get you. That like, hey, I worked before in security yeah. guard. There's signs no drinking, and you can't be drinking because there's family. Yeah, That's the policy. We don't make those policies. We yeah. just like, we just enforce them. I mean, we yeah. understand what so you're saying. Who enforces? So that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who enforces this policy? Yes, sir. Yes, exactly. You know, we yeah. don't we don't make them. We don't. Make why is he being rude? No, 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 no. We just think it. They feel threatened. You, you've been like but you're. I didn't talk to anybody. Yeah, but that, that's why they feel like, why are you taking pictures? We don't know what you're doing. That's what I'm saying. I, I, well, you could ask me, sir. What yeah, sir, but I'm saying, look, there's the PD here. I thought. There's the PD. Uh, yeah, there's, like, they call me. I was Can I have your name in the restroom? Campos, one, three, yeah, seven, Yeah, they, they feel insecure because he was taking videos yeah. and he's been, he's been doing the same I, I, I took videos of this. Yeah. Policies from the city. Those okay. are regulations from the city. We don't I, make them. I we sent an email to your city manager. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There are regulations everywhere. But, you but they say they don't want to deal with me. Okay. But let me show yeah. you. Look. Um, but this is a public parking lot. So that's fine. Okay. I've done this before like three times. Yeah, no. Yeah. I've done this like three times. Can you tell them that it's a public parking lot? I'm not going into an area. Yeah. Permission. So, public parking lot. I wouldn't need permission. They have cameras. I was live. I think I know what I'm doing. I think you know what I'm doing. So, and I already sent an, an email to your city manager. The guy screaming at me, sir. I did not even talk to anybody. They came up to me, and started screaming at me. Do you have a call number? I'll, I'll get the officer back. Yeah, thank you. Campos y el otro. The fact that we are still seeing people who don't understand what the First Amendment is, is extremely worrying. And these people are the ones who can try and force people off of property. Thankfully, these cops who turn up understand the First Amendment and end up educating the men who said that he couldn't record. You wouldn't have thought it would be hard for these men to know that he was able to record. I mean, it's literally in the name, a public parking lot. Yes, a public one. You would have thought the people they hire as security would have to understand the First Amendment as a baseline. Clearly not. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.